Back to the national economy for a moment. The latest numbers on the housing market out tonight show another big jump in new home sales. Welcome news for the home construction industry that's been struggling since the big meltdown in 08. The real estate market overall has been warming this winter, and NBC's Stephanie Gosk reports on what's driving it all. Welcome to Central Glen Townhomes. At a condominium complex in Los Angeles, the 2008 housing crash feels like a distant memory. Newer appliances. Real estate agent Craig Whitlock put this two-bedroom on the market Friday. My phone was ringing off the hook with well over 20 calls, everybody wanting to see it either that afternoon or the very next day. National housing prices jumped higher in the last year than they have since 2006. Economists looked at 20 cities. 19 of them showed price hikes. The top three, Detroit up 13.6 percent, San Francisco 14.4 percent, and Phoenix's prices skyrocketed 23 percent. Phoenix and Detroit saw home sales and housing starts positively plummet as well as prices. What happened after that is investors swarmed in. In many cases, buying up cheap foreclosed homes that flooded the market after 2008. Those good deals are drying up and overall supply is dwindling. Right now, if there were no new listings, all the homes on the market would sell in just over four months. That's the shortest time frame since 2005. The other factor fueling the market is record low interest rates. The average rate for a 30-year fixed mortgage hovered around 5% in 2010. Today, it is just 3.56%. The housing numbers are good news, but a word of caution. Prices have not rebounded to where they were, and these gains might not last. A lot of media accounts suggest that we're off to the races again, but I think buyers are wary. They've just been burned. We, we still have... A, Unemployment rate, almost 8 percent. But at least for now, the country can enjoy a flicker of life in a sector of the economy that had all but flatlined. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, New York.